Looks like a normal garden, right? Zoom in just a little. More. A little more. Okay, pan to the right. No, you're right. Bingo! What's that you're looking at? A stick? Wait a minute. Ah, there it is! Now that's what I call camouflage. The mantis is a beast in the insect world. Its preferred menu? Other insects. And birds. And frogs. Even mice. These mini machines come in many sizes and colors and are found in almost every corner of the world. Most of them are green or brown to blend in with their surroundings, but others like to put on something flashy and are always dressed for the occasion. These powerful insects are a farmer's best friend. They chomp up all the vermin and parasites, leaving the fields nice and clean. Ah, good old mantises! And look at that! It's making its way to another branch. Its large front legs act as a grappler and hook to latch onto anything that strikes its fancy. Those legs have sharp spikes on them, and getting caught in that grip would be the last place you'd want to be. And its back legs are powerful enough to lunge itself at anything tasty. There's no chance for escape. And besides looking mean, they're fast, like blink of an eye fast. They catch their daily meal without even breaking a sweat. Pretty flashy. And they don't like to waste time. They start eating their lunch while it's still alive and kicking. Ooh. But enough about the mantis. Let's go down to ground level. Ooh, check out that snake in the grass. Cunning little thing. It's a small snake, only about a foot long, and it doesn't eat anything outside its strict diet. It feasts on little insects, birds, and mice. It slithers its way onto the tree, not knowing the mantis is there waiting, disguised as a twig. The mantis sees everything. It's able to turn its triangular head a full 180 degrees to get the perfect view. It has two compound eyes and three other simple eyes squeezed in between. Definitely not afraid of a little eye contact. The snake slides its way up the tree trunk and inches its way closer to the mantis. They lock eyes. The snake launches itself and bites into the mantis's leg. The mantis slips and falls down the tree. Just in time, it manages to reach out and hang onto a small tree branch and regain its balance. It sinks into its signature fighting stance. Woo, that was quick. No preparation, no warm-up, nothing. The snake slithers its way down, and once again, they're face to face. They stare at each other. Who's gonna make the first move? A mantis usually lifts its arms in the air and expands its back wings to make it look larger when it's getting threatened. Ah, remember the Karate Kid? Yeah, just like that. But not today. It's confident enough against this puny grass snake. The snake, meanwhile, doesn't know what to expect. It's never faced such an alien-like creature before. It's like a stick, but also looks delicious. Ah, confusing. After a second, the snake makes another lunge. It opens its jaws and tries to bite the mantis, but it misses. The mantis dodges easily and grabs hold of the snake's neck. It tries to take a bite, but the snake wiggles free in spite of the mantis's sharp spikes on its legs. The snake's free, but the damage is done. Those spikes penetrated the snake's thick skin. One point for Team Mantis, but the snake isn't quitting anytime soon. It surprises the mantis with a sneak move and catches it off guard. But the mantis manages to do a little hop, a little jump, and grapples the snake to the ground. And this particular mantis is snake-size hungry. TKO, if you know what I mean. The snake never had a chance. But it might not end so quickly if the mantis was facing a hornet. Now we're talking. A flying beast with a beefy stinger versus a quick-footed, clawed fighting machine. Okay, we got time. Let's do it. The mantis stands guard, motionless. It turns its head around, and all five eyes scan the sky, the ground, watching, waiting. So far, nothing. The ground is clear, and the sky is a spotless blue. Then, a quick shadow-like movement flashes across the sky. The mantis couldn't get a good look at it. Another swoosh and a flash of color, this time from behind. Something's toying with the mantis, trying to weaken it psychologically. But the insect holds its ground. A true mantis doesn't flinch. This time, the hornet flies right past it. Those buzzing wings make a sound like a mini helicopter. 
the mantis is prepared and double checks its equipment. It looks down at its front legs to make sure they're ready for anything. It's a game of patience. Who's going to show weakness first? The hornet swoops down and tries to sting the mantis. But the mantis is fast. Fast enough to move out of the way, but not quite fast enough to grab hold of the flying beast. It'll have to wait for the hornet to come around again. Then it'll be ready. The mantis needs to time this thing just right. If it can get the perfect angle, it can grab hold of the hornet and wrestle it down. But the hornet is too clever. It keeps coming in at different speeds and angles. The mantis is used to ambushing its opponent, so just waiting around to be stung isn't its favorite activity. But it's quick enough to ward off any attacks. Another flash, and the hornet surprises the mantis from behind. It knocks it down. The hornet almost engages its stinger, but just misses. The mantis sees its chance. It gets back up. But one of its back legs is damaged. This could be a huge advantage for the hornet, since the mantis needs both back legs to lunge and pounce. It wobbles around a bit, trying not to appear weak. Speed and counterattacks aren't an option anymore for the mantis. But at least the hornet isn't as quick as a snake. Even without its back legs, the mantis is still powerful. The hornet comes in from another direction and tries to sting the mantis. But the mantis shifts position and manages to escape. But as hard as it tries, it just can't grab hold of the hornet. The hornet flies up higher than ever and uses gravity to build up some serious speed. It misses again, but the impact of the diving hornet damages the mantis's other leg. It can't move. It looks like it's all over. There's no way for the mantis to escape. The hornet decides to go in for one final sting. But this time, the mantis actually grabs hold of the hornet. Without the use of its hind legs, the mantis can't seem to pin it down properly. The hornet manages to hover a little, straining to fly away to safety. The mantis's weight pulls it back down. The more they wrestle, the more the mantis's spiky front legs start to dominate. They grip the hornet tighter and tighter, digging their spikes in deeper and deeper. The mantis sees this as an opportunity to start biting the hornet. But the hornet also has powerful jaws and bites back. Meanwhile, a small little housefly watches in the background, frozen in fear. Shoo fly, you shouldn't be here, it's dangerous, buzz off. The scuffle breaks apart as the hornet is somehow able to escape the mantis's grip and crawl away. Crawl, not fly. The mantis was able to damage the hornet's wings. The mantis digs deep and finds a hidden energy reserve. It crawls up to the hornet and manages to grab it again, this time from behind. This way, the hornet won't be able to sting the mantis or even bite it. The hornet can see what's about to happen, and it's helpless. The mantis's claws are locked in way too tight. The mantis begins biting. It may have a smaller jaw than the average hornet, but it's quick and just as powerful. I wouldn't want to be on the other end of those jaws. The hornet tries everything, crawling, flying, jumping off the branch, but nothing works. It succumbs to the mantis's claws and its never-ending appetite. Another stunning victory for the amazing mantis. Now aren't you glad middle school wasn't like this?